I want to make asking for a raise as simple and painless as possible for you. Here's what you do. When you've done your work, and I'll, I covered it in the week 17 DPE, but I will recover it after I show you this. When you've done that work, click on the contact page right there. It's going to open up this page. Type your name. Type your GUHSD email address. Make sure you get this right because I may respond. And if I respond and it's not your real email, uh, you're not going to get it. Then I want you to write what period you're in. Put a space. I want you to write what computer you sit at. Add a space. And I want you to copy and paste your Behance URL. And that URL is found right here. On Stu's page, if he, let me switch over here. If I go to my Behance page and click right there, that loads my home page. And that link right there should look familiar. It's that link right there, and it's that link right there. This is so I can find your page. Don't worry about making it a link. The email will turn it into a link automatically. Do a little math and submit this. But do not submit this Whoops! until you've got a week 16 post that has an image that demonstrates what you learned that week and a paragraph underneath it that describes what you learned, how you learned it, how you applied it, all that good stuff. How many sentences, Scotch Code? Don't ask me. Write about that. Hey, week 17, learn something new this week. Post an image that captures what you learned this week and write a paragraph about what you learned, how you learned it, and how you applied it. Okay? Do that. And then a minimum of three product pages. And I want you to reorder these like I showed you in the week 17 DPE. I want the three product pages first, then 17, then 16. You got it? I'm not looking at 15 or earlier. This is all I want. Once you have these five things, five minimum, then use the contact form and send that link in. I will get back to you within 24 hours. Give me a day, okay? After a day, you can come, Scott, you go, what's going on? Or near, after half the period's over on the second, you know, a day after you submit this, yeah, talk to me, okay? You will also have the day of the final to do this, but don't wait till the last minute to do it. But also, don't do it without having done the work, okay? If I click this link and there's not a 16 and 17 or there's not a paragraph written on 16 and 17 or there's not a new image on 16 and 17 or there's not three product pages, it's not going to happen. Do you understand? This represents an entire semester's work. Make it represent an entire semester's work. And remember, if you're doing illustrator patterns, I want these things 940 by 314. Okay? You just make a new artboard, 940 by 314. You make a rectangle that's 940 by 314, and you save out your patterns, save them for the web. When you make your, uh, your cover page, you're going to have to save it out at 632 high, which will mean it's far wider than 940, but that's just for your cover. That's easy enough, right? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have some fun with this. Really, knock my socks off. Do a great job. And I can't wait to raise your grade.